Hi friends, welcome to Friday. Today is day 10 of being at school at home. We're going to start out with a couple of shout outs for some of our friends. We have Dorothy and Arturo, Sophia, Amal, Julian, Liam, Dominic, Tavin, Jesus, Klaus, JJ, and JC. Yay! Way to go, friends! Good job! Good job! Okay, so what I want you to make sure that you're doing first is um, singing your calendar songs. That's singing Good Morning. Days of the week, weather, counting to 100, your ABC sounds, and your buddy sounds. Um, speaking of buddy sounds, we need to learn our last one, which is A-Y. So we just did A-I-A-A-A. -A -A. Rain, rain, you're a pain. A-I-A-A-A. -A -A -A. So for this part, we go... But if it's at the end of a word, you go a a a. I really like to play with <laughs> with a y a a a. Forgot to add that part into my original video. So, but if it's at the end of a word, you go a a a. I really like to play with a y a a a. So if I hear a at the end of a word, it's a y like day, d, a or say, s, a or today, to, d, a, a at the end of a word. Okay, I kind of hear a at the end of and play. That's the other word that we said. Play. Play. Okay. So got to make sure that we have all that in there. Make sure you add in the with a y a a a because I did not put that in my original video. Whoops. That's okay. Alrighty. So, um, what you're going to do with your blue words, you have of and what that we learned this week. You can either rainbow write or make them out of Legos or Play-Doh or write them in chalk or watch the videos or write some sentences. Do something fun with of and what, okay? And that's it with those. Um, your health book. So we only have a few pages left. So you're going to do the last three pages, page 23, page 25, and page 27. And that's it. And then you're done with the health book. Okay. And for math, for math, we're going to be doing this base 10 flowers. I'm going to do this first one with you. And the second one. I'm going to do numbers one and two with you, and then you guys are going to do these. So, this isn't really something that we do without Miss Hobbs. This is something we do with Miss Hobbs. So, this is something that you should do with mom and dad. So, let's see. Let me draw this first flower here. One, ten stick, and one, two, three, six, two, three, four. Six. Okay, this is what the first problem shows me. Okay, when Miss Hobbs talks about a number, and we ask if we can, can break it apart into tens and ones, and then Miss Hobbs draws ten sticks and ones blocks, tens blocks and ones blocks, and Miss Hobbs draws tens blocks and ones blocks. That's all this is, and some of you got to do this in your um. March morning bins where you had to put the tens and ones for the teen numbers that we had. Um, so that's all we're doing here. Okay. So if you see one of these sticks, that is a number that goes in the tens place. So let me just show you our tens and ones. 
like this. It'll be really easy if you make one of these charts and then you just count how many you have. Okay, so make a tens and ones chart. You can put that on the back of this paper. So on the back or on a separate piece of paper, write tens, ones, and make a little T-chart. Okay, your parent should do that part for you. So we're looking at this first one over here. How many 10 sticks do I see? Well, I have one big stick and it has 10 little blocks in it. So that's a 10 stick. How many of them are there? One, I have one 10 stick. How many ones blocks do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place them together. because This is called place value. So I place the numbers together, one and six underneath it, really close. What number did I make? 16, that's the number I'm gonna write on the inside of my flower. Cause this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, let's do the second one. All right, I gotta erase some of this. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, you still need a tens and ones little T column chart. So this is the one over here. This is the other one on the top. My 10 sticks are my big long sticks. How many 10 sticks do I have? One, two. I have two tens, tens. I have two of them. How many ones blocks do I have? One. Now, because these are base 10 and they're place value, I have to place the numbers back together. This was me breaking it apart. So now I have to put it back together to make the final number. What did I make? 21. So I'm gonna write 21 on the inside of the flower. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. Um, parents ask the same type of questions I'm asking, help them count them, draw the chart because that's the only way they're gonna recognize it because um, that's not something that we do independently yet at all. So that's what you'll do for math. So 16 and 21 and you'll do the other problems with mom or dad or sister or brother, whoever's helping you. Okay, after that, um, we have Dun, dun, dun. your activity calendar at the back so we have we're on week two unit three week two friday okay and that's in here now the only thing that will not be online starting next week will be using this calendar you will still use these two things. It'll say activity calendar, and I'm gonna write my shared readings under there too, but you should know that that's this. I'm gonna try and put pictures of those in there for you as well. Um, but yeah, so today you're doing week two, Friday of unit three. Okay, before we go to our story, we have a couple words I wanna stretch out. Um, I wanna stretch out, we're gonna start with the word Hum, hum, uh, mm, hum. Let's build the word hum. Let's see. Uh, mm. Let's sound it out together. Uh, mm, hum, hum. Okay. All right, my next word is nice, 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 okay, nice, nice, but wait, Miss Hobbs said to make sure that I know my buddy sounds, and I'm pretty sure ice 
is one of my buddy sounds. Let's sing that part. I C E I C E ice ice I C E I C E ice ice. So if I'm doing n ice nice, then this shouldn't be I S. This should be I C E. So I put that back. C E. There we go. N ice nice nice. Okay. Nice. All right. My next word, my last word, I'm only doing three today, is arm. 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 R-M. That oh, says erm. What well, says R? R. Ooh. A R. R R R. A R. R R R. So I need A R. Mm. Arm, arm, arm. There we go. Okay. Just make sure you're practicing your buddy sounds every day. So we had the word hum, nice, and arm. So I would go through and I can box. My buddy sounds that I found in those words today. Ice and R. Hum, nice, arm. I needed to know ice and R. Alrighty. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to read our story today. But it's going to be a little bit different. So the story we've been reading is actually based off an older story. So our story we've been reading is The Three Billy Goats Fluff, which is actually based off the book The Three Billy Goats Gruff. That sounds really, hey, fluff, gruff. Those sound the same. Those rhyme, fluff, gruff. Yes. Hmm. I wonder if it's a similar story. I want you to think, how is the story the same? as our story. How is the gruff story the same as the fluff story? How are they the same? And then how might they be different? So this is The Three Billy Goats Gruff by Paul Galdon. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. They lived in a valley, and the name of all three billy goats was Gruff. There was very little grass in the valley, but the billy goats were hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to a fine meadow full of grass and daisies, where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. But on the way up there was a bridge over a rushing river, and under the bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. First, the youngest billy goat gruff decided to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that trapping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the tiniest billy goat gruff, said the billy goat in his very small voice, and I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. I'm too little that I am, said the billy goat. Wait till the second billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Well, be off with you, said the troll. A little later, the second billy goat gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the second billy goat gruff, and I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat, said the billy goat. His voice was not as small. 
No, you're not, said the troll, or I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, please don't take me. Wait a little till the third Billy Goat Gruff comes. He's much bigger. Very well, off with you, said the troll. Then up came the third Billy Goat Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. The third Billy Goat was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. That sounds like a big goat. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. It's I, the big belly goat gruff, said the billy goat, and his voice was as loud as the troll's. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, said the troll. Well, come on, said the big billy boat gruff. I got two horns and four hard hooves. See what you can do. So up climbed that mean, ugly troll, and the big billy goat guff booted him off with his horns and trampled him with his hard hooves. And he tossed him over the bridge and into the rushing river. Then the big billy goat gruff went up the hillside to join his brothers. In the meadow, the three billy goats gruff got so fat that they could hardly walk home again. They're probably still there. Snip, snap, snout, this tale's told out. Hmm, the three billy goats gruff. All right, so I want to think about how is this story the same as this story. Let's see, they both had goats. They both had three goats in them, three billy goats. And did they both have a troll? Yeah, they both had a troll. Did they both have to go to a green field to eat? Yeah. And what did they have to cross over to get to that green field of grass? over a bridge to the troll's house. So they all had to do the same thing. All the goats wanted to go over the bridge where the troll lived to eat grass. And they all were trip trapping over the bridge. Trip trapping, loud noises, and it made the trolls upset. Now, the part where it's a little bit different is kind of a play on words with the story title. This is the Three Billy Goats Fluff, and this is the Gruff story. In the Fluff story, how did they solve the problem? Their problem was that the troll wanted to eat them. It's the problem in both stories. The troll's upset and wants to eat the goats. In this story, how did they solve their problem? What did they do? did they do? They were nice. They gave the troll a gift. They had fluffy hearts. They had soft, warm, fluffy hearts. And they were nice to the troll and gave him a gift and became friends. But in the gruff story, how did they solve the problem of the troll wanting to eat them? The big billy goat just shoved him off the bridge and then they never saw him again. They were rough and tough, just like the story says, gruff. So, what you're going to do in your journal today is you're going to think, which billy goat do you want to be like? Do you want to be a fluffy billy goat and be nice? Or do you want to be a gruff billy goat and be not so nice? when you solve your problems, so think.
Well, here's your picture. I want to be like, we know all of these words. I want, I don't know if we know want. It's okay. I want to be like the blank billy goats. Because blank. So you're sounding this out. Don't copy my billy or goats or because. Sound it out. So I want to be like the blank billy goats. So fluffy or gruff. I want to be like the fluffy billy goats or I want to be like the gruff billy goats. Because blank. And then you can draw your picture. So tell me why you would want to be like that. Alrighty. So this is going to be... We're not going to have as many YouTube videos next week. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be videotaping myself during our Loom class times. And then that will be posted on the YouTube channel. Because everything else that you will be doing will be online already. Um, so, for example, I'm going to... Here in a second, at the end of this video, is going to be an added clip from today's Zoom video, for those of you that missed it, where we learned how to draw a leprechaun today. So that way you can learn how to draw a leprechaun too. And if you want to send me your picture, that's great. Um, but for those of you doing today's work, um, show me, take a picture today, for Friday's picture, take a picture of what you did with your rainbow words, of and what whether it's with Play-Doh or writing or chalk. Um, if you watched a video, you know, take a picture of your kid watching the video or writing your sentences or, you know, rainbow writing or anything like that. Take a picture of what they did with the words of and what and send them to me today. Um, your kid can be smiling beside what they did um, in the picture. Um, and you'll get a dojo point. So tomorrow evening... I will have your new schedule. I will have, well, no, tonight, excuse me, because today is Friday. Um, I will have out your new schedule. I will also have for you login information, the link to the website, and how I'm going to update Dojo Points starting for next week. Um, don't forget to, if you haven't, by noon today, tell me your answer to the survey. We're getting pretty close to what I think we're going to end up picking. Um, but yeah, watch for the end of the video for um, what I did on Zoom today for our How to Draw a Leprechaun. And then starting next week, that's what the YouTube videos I will post will be what happened during class time for those of you that aren't able to make it. So there'll be less YouTube videos and all the instructions will be online. I will send out one more video tomorrow uh, just on Dojo to explain what I'm sending to you. And then that way you have all weekend um, to look at that material and ask me questions and stuff so you feel prepared for Monday. And trust me, it's a lot less than what we're doing right now because it involves a lot more screen time. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And... Check out our leprechaun video here at the end. All right. I look forward to seeing your pictures of what you do with your sight words. And if you have any extra leprechaun pictures, make sure to send them to me. I love you guys. See you soon. Bye. Okay. okay. And then on the inside of this, I'm going to draw one square. That's my And then I'm going to draw a tiny square inside of that square. Like this. Is this the leprechaun's hat? It is the leprechaun's hat. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw his face. So underneath, I'm going to draw like a big U. Big U. Like that up there?
Now I'm going to draw his beard. Okay, the beard is going to go all around his face. Oh, I know what it is. So I'm going to draw like bubble shapes. That go all the way around, like I'm making like a cloud. Did you see the picture of me? <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. Okay. All right. Now, in the middle of the face, we're gonna draw a nose, but it's gonna kind of be almost like the letter N, but turn sideways, like this. So it's like the letter N, but turned a little bit. Okay, for his smile, it's however you want to draw his mouth, but so okay. drawing a smile. And draw a smile. Okay. Draw a smile. And then for his eyes, I want to draw like two football shapes first. Like two football shapes. Okay, inside of his football shape eyes, I'm going to draw a big circle. Okay, and then inside of those little eyes, I'm going to color in a black circle. Like this. So that way we can color his eyes in after. Alright, we're almost done. Okay. Alright, now we're going to draw his body. So I'm going to start out of his beard and just kind of curve it down on one side. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Yep, all the way to the bottom. Yep, see that's the bottom of my paper. All the way to the bottom. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw some buttons. Some buttons. Okay. Now to draw his arms somewhere up here in this empty space by his face, I'm going to draw a rectangle coming out of one side and a rectangle coming out of the other side. Okay. Hi, Julian. <laughs> Alright, and then you just draw his hands on the top. They have five fingers. 
Okay, I'm gonna have you draw some stripes in the background so that you can color it as a rainbow in a minute. So watch, we're done with the leprechaun. Okay, but I'm gonna draw some stripes up here where I have some empty space to kind of make a rainbow behind him. So I'm just gonna draw some stripes. Oh, rainbows, that's good. No, up here, just on one side, so that way I'll have the rainbow I can color after. I can color this like a rainbow. When you're done drawing, hold your picture up to the screen so I can see your pictures that you drew. Turn it around. Wow. Hold it up to the camera. Hold it up. Look at that beard. It's so cute. Yay. Awesome. Okay. Now we don't have to color it right now, but I'm going to show you the colors that you can use. Okay. So you don't have to color right now, but I'm just going to show you some of them. The leprechaun wears green, so like his outfit will be green. So like his shirt will be green. I know. Let's see. Any green. His hat is black. All right. But then that square in the middle here is actually going to be yellow. This part's yellow. So yeah, the shirt is green. Okay, shirt's green, hat's black. The buckle on the hat's yellow. And then his beard is orange. So the beard is orange. The beard is orange. Oh, the orange. Here it is. And then you can color his skin and his eyes and his buttons, whatever color you want. So skin, eyes, and buttons can be any color. And then my
and the buttons, whatever color you want. And then you have your rainbow. You can color in. And then the rest of the sky can be blue. I'll leave it 